Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of the out there, pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line of your lineage goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, one of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel, a Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah with another lesson. And in this lesson, we're going to go into Esau being rejected. And it's all inspired by, as always, through the Holy Spirit. And the most high led me to the Elder Manatha Zabba's video. And the other one he did uh, earlier today, if I'm mistaken. Um, just going into Esau and how these Christians are starting to see what the scriptures really say. And the thing is, I know we had an uh, Edomite come up to the camp a couple weeks ago. And he was like, how is that fair? So forth and so on. You got to understand, man. This is the most high's will. Esau has been rejected from the beginning. You, you got to understand that every nation has been set up to play a part from the beginning before the world was even created. You see, yeah, and, and the Most High brought the creation forth through Yahweh Shah and Allah Hayim, and the nations were born into the earth. You see, <laughs> and over the uh, course of time, every nation fell into their lot of what they were supposed to do on the earth. What you Edomites have done in the earth, that's what you were ordained to do from the beginning, man. You see, why? Because you are the vessels of wrath fitted to the structures, according to Romans 9. This is what the Most High created you to be. Why is that? It's because you have been rejected by the Most High. And it was that way before you were even born. So, matter of fact, since I quoted that two times, let's, go, let's start right here. We'll start right here in Romans 9. And uh, where is it? Perfect. Yup. This is our Romans nine and ten. It says, and not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil. That the purpose of the Most High, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. You see that? At the end of the day, Jacob and Esau were put into their lots from the beginning. Before they were even born, it was already determined that one was going to be the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, and the other was going to be the vessels of wrath fitted, uh, the, not like it, the vessels of glory, you see? So the most so the most I can show his mercy on them, man. Right? And there is nothing that you can do to change this. At all. This is what it's been from the beginning. And now that you Christians are coming to the, uh, this understanding, you're trying to find a way to weasel up out of it, man. That's why you're breaking the scriptures down wrong. You're trying to say, uh, trying to <laughs> trying to blame the Most High. You're trying to say, oh, Esau stole, Jacob, uh, Jacob stole Esau's blessing, so forth and so on. No, man. Esau was rejected from the beginning. That's that's just the truth of the matter. You, you Edomites, you so-called white people, you have always been hated by the Most High, man. That was your lot to be put in as a, a nation of people, entire nation of people. Now let's go back to the beginning. Let's go to Genesis. So I don't think, think the other one is Genesis, so I go into it. This is Genesis. Uh, I'm tripping. Genesis 12 and 13. You know what? I think it was 25, if I'm mistaken. Genesis 25. Where is it? Yep, here we go. Okay. And we'll go right here to uh, Genesis 25, and we'll start at verse 20. It says, And Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the, the Syrian of Pandanaram, the sister of Laban, the Syrian. And Isaac entreated Yahweh for his wife because she was barren. She couldn't bear children. 
And Yahweh was in, entreated of him, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived after the Most High opened up her womb. You see? Verse 22 says what? And the children struggled together within her. They were fighting. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? So she's saying, basically, if the Most High blessed me to have these children, why are they fighting this way in my womb? You see? Because that's how the Most High had it set up. Us Israelites and those Edomites, we have been enemies from the womb, man. From the beginning. You see? This is why so much enmity between us and them. This is why so much hatred between us and them, man. The Most High set it up this way. So it says what? And she went to inquire of Yahweh. Verse 23. And Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. This is what the Most High ordained from the beginning, man. Two nations were going to come forth, for, come for, uh, forth from her womb. One people was going to be stronger than the other people, and the elder was going to serve the younger. It was already determined, man. It was already determined and established according to the Most High's will. Verse 24 says what? And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over, like an hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. So according to the prophecy, what does it say about the oldest? The elder shall serve the younger. It was already set up in the Most High's will for Esau, who was born first, to serve his young, younger brother Jacob, which are, which are us Israelites. So when we tell you that you Edomites are going into slavery under us, it's all according to the Most High's will, according to what he spoke from the beginning, man. According to this whole situation he had play out right here. Because <laughs> he could have easily had Jacob come out first. But that wasn't the Most High's will. He had Esau come out first because you Edomites are going to be our slaves in the kingdom of heaven. You have been rejected by the Most High, man. You see? And then what happened? Verse 26. And after that came out his brother. Like, and after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. There it is. And that hand being on Esau's heel represents the Lord Yahweh Shah taking this man down. Which is about to happen very soon. So everything we see happening in the earth, man, is, is, is all leading to these prophecies of being fulfilled. The elder serving the younger, and our Lord Yahweh Shah coming to take this damn devil out of power. Why? Once again, it's because Esau has been rejected. <laughs> that's, that's the title, man. Esau has been rejected. Point blank, period. And oh, yeah, oh, I'm glad I said that because the guy who came up to the camp a couple weeks ago, he was trying to vouch about a few Edomites being good and doing good to the Israel. No, man. All of you are going to be punished. All of, Every single e uh, seed of Esau has been rejected, man. You see? Because he, he was trying to get judged as an individual. It don't matter. You're still an Edomite. If you were, even if you were judged as an individual, you would still have to pay for the things that you've done in your past lives, man. This is why, this is why reincarnation is so important. You're not just being judged for what you did here in this 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 current uh, timeline or this current time that you were reincarnated in the earth. You been you have to pay for everything that you've done, man. You see? But this is what it is. Now, let's go to Malachi. <laughs> one and this is what it is Malachi 1 and 1 to show you even further that you either must have been rejected man and we're going to continue to say it over and over and over again because there's this false doctrine of pagan Christianity that has been propagated all throughout the earth and you either must think that you have a chance to be saved and you don't ain't no salvation for Esau 
You see? None at all. This is why you love this character known as Jesus Christ. You see? Because you feel like that's your way to receive salvation. No, man. That's a false doctrine. That's a false idol. He, Jesus Christ doesn't, doesn't exist. The true Messiah is the Lord Yahweh Shah. You see? And he's coming to destroy Edomites, man. For what they've done unto his people. You see that? So Malachi 1 and 1, it says what? The burden of the word of Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Yet ye say, wherein, thy, wherein has thou loved us? Because, hey, because at the end of the day, the Mo and how is the Most High showing us love, man? Hey, he chose us as his people. He's about to have everything uh, favor us. Everything is favoring us, man. He's allowing us to turn back, uh, return back unto him through faith and, and, and the Lord, Yahweh Shah. He's accepting us again. He's giving us his name back. He's giving us our true nationality back. That proves that he loves us, man. He's made everlasting promises unto, to, uh, unto our forefathers, which are, are going to be passed down to us. He chose us from the beginning, man. That's love. It might not seem like it because we're going through this, con uh, this low condition right now, but this, this is what happens when you disobey your parents or disobey your parent, your father, man. He punishes you, and this is what the nation of Israel is going through right now. We're going through a, a, a punishment, which is about to come to an end. But it goes on to say, Wherein has thou loved us? Was not, was not Esau Jacob's brother? Save Yahweh, yet I loved Jacob. You see that? The Most High loves Jacob. And it says what? And hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. This is the truth of the matter, man. Yes, the Most High creates nations just to hate them. I remember before this truth got so prominent in the earth, man, you had all these scoffers coming up. Why would God create a nation just to hate him? Because he can do whatever he want to do. It's the most high's will, man. That's why the most high tells you. Oh, let me get that real quick. Isaiah 55. In 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. And this is what man tries to do. They try to put the most high in a, a, a mortal box as, he, as if he's a mortal human like, like us down here on this earth. He's not, man. He's the creator of the heavens and the earth. He's the almighty. He's the ancient of days. Before anything existed, the most high existed, man. Do you understand that? There's nothing before him. <laughs> he's always been there. So he's on a, a completely different level. That any one of us down here on this earth. So you cannot tell him how things are supposed to go. It's going to go exactly how he wants it to go. And everyone is going to be put in the lot according to his will. And he's put Esau in the lot of being hated and rejected. All of you. And there ain't a damn thing to do that you can do. I mean, there ain't a, a damn thing that you can say to change it. It don't matter if you're pushing forth a false doctrine, this, this, this pagan Christianity, talking about God loves all people. That's not written in the scriptures. And no matter how much you say it, it doesn't make it true. You're just setting yourself up for failure by believing in that bullshit, man. Because the truth of the matter is going to come out. And it's going to be made known to the world when that time comes. Esau has been rejected. Point blank period, man. And you look at him and see all this shit he has in the earth, the, the, the fatness of the earth, and he got all the resources, living in the best houses, big ass mansions. This is just endless resources. That doesn't mean the Most High loves him. The Most High just gave him a blessing so he can fulfill his portion of prophecy. His blessing is coming to an end, and Yahweh Shah is about to take this man down to establish the kingdom of heaven. The reason this man is being set up in the earth is the same reason the Most High set up ancient Pharaoh, man. And that's to do what? That was for the Most High to show his power by 
taking this great superpower known as what the the beast you see <laughs> down man taking Babylon down taking Esau's power structure down man because at the end of the day this man has been rejected by the Lord man verse uh, 9 says what for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. There it is, man. That's the truth of it. Going back to Malachi 1 to finish this off. We'll start at verse 3 again. It says what? And, es and, and I hated Esau and laid his mouths in his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall have host. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall have indignation forever. Do you see that? The Most High is coming to destroy everything that anything that has everything to, everything that has anything to do with Esau. And he's gonna make this land known as America a great desolate wilderness as a punishment upon the Edomite, man. To show the world how much he hates this nation of people. All of them. You see? <clears throat> this man has been rejected. His whole entire lineage, his whole entire lineage has been rejected. And that's written all throughout the scriptures, man. So let's get another one. Let's get a Oh, you know what? Let's get this one in our uh, second Ezra. Second Ezra three. It's like I still went to the wrong app. Second Ezra chapter three. Three. And where is it? Uh, there it is. Now listen to this. Second Ezra three and thirteen. It says. Now when they lived so wickedly before thee, thou didst choose thee a man from among them whose name was Abraham, amongst, from amongst who? From amongst the sons of God. See, our nation was restored, you see, and kept going, you know. Well, let me say that priesthood was kept going by the Most High bringing out Abraham from amongst his idol worshiping family, man, which are sons of God, which were sons of God. Sons of, yeah, sons of God. He called Abraham from his father's house, and he led Abraham to the land, the, prom the, the promised land, and he made a covenant and an oath with our forefather Abraham. You see? Verse 14 says what? Him thou lovest, and unto him only thou showedest thy will. And it's only for Abraham and his descendants to understand the Most High's will. The Most High hasn't even revealed his will to the, the entire uh, nation of our people, man. It's only for the elect of Israel to get this. You see? This is why we can tell you what's, what's about to take place in the earth. What is going to be when it's all said and done because the Most High has revealed this through, to us through his Holy Spirit. You see? Now it goes on to say, verse 14. Him thou lovest, and unto him only thou showedest thy will, and madest an everlasting covenant with him, promising, promising him that thou wouldest never forsake his seed. But here come the pagan Christians, because they're trying to do, the they're trying to do away with the true narrative of the Bible. They want to come and say, no, no, everybody's God's people now. The Most High has forsaken the physical seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to deal with all nations now, and that's not the truth. It told you the Most High made an everlasting covenant promising him that he would never forsake his seed. And then swore on himself that he would do this, man. Let's get that word for everlasting. I don't think I can do it like this in this app. Damn. Let's get the word for everlasting. Let's do the Merriam-Webster. For everlasting. Right? 
lasting or enduring through all time, eternal. He made an eternal covenant with our forefather Abraham that he would never forsake his seed because what? He loves us. It tells you that in Deuteronomy 7. You see? The love that the Most High has for our forefathers and for, and for us. That's, that's not a love that the Most High expresses for Esau in the Bible, man. Nowhere. It says, well, continue for a long time or in, indefinitely. But you get the point. So it says, what? And made us an everlasting covenant with them, promising him that he would, that thou wouldest never forsake, forsake his seed. Where, and, 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 and how did how did the seed line how did the most high ordain the seed line to run went from Abraham then it said what and Isaac shall thy seed be called Isaac came forth then came forth from Isaac who Jacob and Esau who was the chosen Jacob was and the twelve tribes after him that's the seed that the, the most high is not going to forsake the seed of Abraham Isaac and Jacob there is no mention of Esau nowhere in there man he, has a, he, he wasn't a chosen vessel. He was a rejected vessel. A vessel created only to be smashed into oblivion. <sighs> you see? Verse, six, uh, verse 16 says what? And unto him thou gavest Isaac, and unto Isaac also thou gavest Jacob and Esau. As for Jacob, thou didst choose him to thee. He chose Jacob. From the beginning. And put by Esau. Now when you go into what the put by means. Let's see what it means man. He put by Esau. What, that, what does that mean? Put by. Archaic. Reject. Man, get the hell out of here. Archaic. Reject. Esau has been rejected. Lay aside. Save for what? What has Esau been saved for? A great destruction. Especially a hey, the ones who are here in the land of America, you have been reserved to be destroyed, to be made, to be made an example of. Then when it's all said and done, you see after that first dominion of the kingdom of heaven, we're gonna gather all you Edomites up, you see, and we're gonna destroy you from the face of the earth. Why? Because you've been rejected. You've been saved for destruction, man. Point blank period. That's what it is. You are the people of the Most High's curse to judgment. And it's, and it's going to be a very, very, very great and harsh judgment, man. But you devils have been rejected. There is no space for you here. It says what? And put by Esau, and so Jacob became a great multitude, according to well, according to the promise that the Most High made unto our forefather Abraham. And thy seed shall be as the stars of heaven for multitude. You see? Now, where I'm going? Let's get this. Did I spell that wrong? Yup. I did spell. <laughs> I spelled it with a PH. <laughs> It says profane. It says, uh, <laughs> not profane, so like it. This is, uh, Hebrews 12 and 16. It says, Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Now, what does profane mean? Let's, get, let's, see, what the, let's see if we can find a definition for this. Profane. <laughs> oh, man. Strong's G, 952. Bebelos. Bebelos. Bebelos, right? He goes, accessible, lawful to be trodden. Lawful to be trodden. Profane, unhallowed, common, public place of men ungodly. And that's what Esau is, man. You see? Heathen, heathen, heathenish, wicked, profane. And that does not the most I call Esau the wicked of the Bible. Are they not called the wicked in uh, 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 Job 9 and 24? Also known as the border of wickedness? We just read that in Malachi 1. 
these people are ungodly, and this is this is who who was running the earth, and this is why we see the earth in the condition that it's in, man. It's because the wicked are being ruled, the Edomites. So I see nothing but chaos and confusion and, and degeneracy all throughout this place. And the reason he's this way is because this is how the Most High made him, man. Why? Once again, it's because he has been rejected. All this bullshit to my love is love and you can do whatever you want to do. Man, no, man. No. This is the madness this man has pushed all throughout the earth. Now he want, now he want forgiveness. Now they want to be, now they want to be uh, uh, upright. But you can't be anything other than what the most I created you to be, man. You see? Now going back, Hebrews 12 and 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. He sold his birthright. He didn't value it. You see? It didn't mean anything to him. But now you got his descendants in the uproar. <laughs> because basically his, his, his their forefathers have sold him up the river, man. You know what I'm saying? He didn't care about the... Uh, Esau wasn't thinking about generational wealth when he sold his birthright. He was thinking about himself, man. And at the end of the day, it all played out that way because the birthright was never his from the beginning. It was always, but it always belonged to Jacob. Verse seventeen says, "What? For ye know that how afterward, when he went and inherited the blessing, he was rejected because he was put by from the beginning by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man." You devils have been rejected, and, be, and, and because you've been flourishing in the earth for so damn long, you think the most high is on your side, and that's not the case, man. Once again, you've only been given this position that you have to fulfill the most high's will. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And the time is approaching where your blessing is going to expire, and your ass is going into slavery, as it is written, thus saith the Lord. But the word for what is this reject? Strong's G five ninety three. Apadaki Mazo. Apadaki Mazo. Apadaki Mazo, right? To dis to disapprove, reject, repudiate. Oh, what's this one? Refuse to accept or be associated with. Whoo, whoo. You see, the most I was nothing to do with you Edomites, man. You see that? The most I want was nothing to do with you so-called white people. You see, you got these clown ass uh, two thirds out here. When we bring them the good news and we tell them that the most high is going to destroy these people for what they've done unto us, you got Israelites trying to vouch for Esau, man. And like the scriptures tell you, man, throw hand joined in hand with uh, throw, hand, throw, throw hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. You see, these devils are going to pay. They're going to receive all the judgment the Most High has spoken upon them, man. So, Hebrews 12 and 17, For ye know how that after when he would, inher when, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. tears. Esau doesn't have, he can't repent, man. You see? He cannot repent. None of you can. You see? Strong's G, 3341. Metanoia. Metanoia. Metanoia, right? A change of mind, as it appears to one who repents, of a purpose he has formed or of something he has done. Esau can't repent because, oh, let's get that real quick. Yep. Jeremiah 13 and uh, 23 says, What well, can the Ethiopian change his skin? 
or the leopard his spots, then may ye also do good that are accustomed to the evil. E Esau can't do any good, man. And even when he think he, he thinks he's doing good, he's doing evil. You see? Because that's what the most I created this man to be. That's what he created the entire nation to be. All of them, man. All of them are off. And all of them have to go because if we don't get rid of every single Edomite on this planet Earth, when that time comes, you know, if he, if we leave one Edomite here, Edom, well, Edomite male, he's able to procreate with any female on this Earth and bring forth more Edomite seed. And the Most High is not going for that, man. So when that time comes, Esau is going to be eradicated from the earth, man. You see? Because that's what the Most High intended, created them to be. The vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, man. And we ended off on that. Let's get it on, uh, let's get Isaiah, Obadiah, Salakia. Obadiah 1. We get verse 18, it says what? And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh shall have spoken. The Edomites are going to be completely eradicated from the earth when the time comes, man. You see? Why? Because this is the Most High's intents and purposes for this entire nation. This is all according to the Most High's counsel, according to the Most High's will. These are not words that we've made up. These these words are found written in every Bible all throughout the country. The King James, at least. But you have some translation that go off. You see, but in the King, in the, in the KJV, this is this is what's written, and this is what is going to be. You see. So yeah, man, you eat them myself been <laughs> have been rejected. And no matter how much you cry, uh, beg or plead, you know what I'm saying. And no matter how much you try to act like you've been trying to do so much, so much good for our people, no man, it's over. You you've been rejected. Now it's time for your punishment. You see, it's time for your punishment. And with that, I'm gonna end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful little Akim out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Doing this work as Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah has created us to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom. Wa, Abba, Abba,